Feds are watching. <laughs> Man, this Diddy saga keeps getting crazier, getting dumber. Allegedly, they were looking for Sean Combs, Diddy, going to all his homes, LA, New York, Miami, right? And he was nowhere to be found. He was out the country, but they were looking. So, obviously, there's some layers and levels to this, and we're going to get to them right now. But first, my first thought was exactly what I'm hearing from Candace Owens, which is, she says, and you can look at this right now, she believes uh, that Diddy is the fall guy of a sex trafficking ring. They are raiding to hide evidence, not find it. Now, I ain't go that damn far because I ain't watched that much Matlock. But still, I was like, man, all this? How long Diddy been famous? <laughs> Y'all like he just got famous and all of a sudden he just started acting like, take that. I don't know. Put that back up. I want to see some more of that. We got to talk more through that. Okay. So she said the feds are currently raiding Diddy's house. They already knew what he was up to, but he is going to be the fall guy so they can protect the people at the top of the ring. They are raiding his home to hide evidence, not to find it. That's how this works. Let me tell you, when I hear stuff like that, it always gives me pause, even though I went there as well. All right, we can take Candace away now. It gives me pause because I'm not a big conspiracy theorist. I'm not a big conspirator. I'm not one to be like, ah, that, somebody else did that from far away with a magic wand, looking down and making sure you were subjected to their ills, right? I'm like, oh, shut up. Take some accountability. You fucked up. Like, it's just, just that simple, right? But then, ah, I started to think. I was like, man. Because Diddy been famous since mid-90s, if not early 90s, right? Take that. And I'm like, all right. And then he went through the 2000s. Uh, we've seen him on air, be Diddy, whatever that means, punking people, telling them to do what they want to do. People so thirsty for the dough and for the shine, they do what he wanted them to do. But none of that was illegal. I don't even think it was unethical. It just was not right. Like, <laughs> how far you got to go to get something to eat? <laughs> Stuff like that. But that's what people do, right? We've seen thirst before. But then, obviously, when he had the allegations, you know me, I'm a believer in the due process, so I'm like innocent to proven guilty. This one was a little different in terms of the beats. Uh, but still, you got to respect the process if you're somebody who respects our judicial system. I'm like, hmm, interesting. And then I'm like, Diddy been famous for 30 years, and only two people got something to say, maybe three. Maybe more, who knows, but through two or three. And then I'm not a big believer. You used to work with me, used to be around me forever. And then when I let you go or something happens, then all of a sudden, oh, you know what happened when we were together? I'm like, I never forced you to be here, but you know what was forcing you? Your thirst, your fame. So then yesterday when all this was happening, I'm taking pause. I'm like, damn, how thirsty are they to bring down Diddy? To bring down Diddy. I don't know what Diddy did to get down, <laughs> but to bring Diddy down. So then another layer hits me. It's Mace. And we all know Puff and Mace was a sentence back in the days, right? You said that completely, right? Peanut butter and jelly. Puff and Mace, right? So let's listen to Mace talk about what he saw from yesterday and this whole experience with Diddy. Let's go. You'll know it then. Did you make the right decision leaving rap? I did. Everything now that we see playing out was all the things I escaped. The car, the, the shine, the loan, Puff Daddy, Craig every, Mac. the Craig Mack, Biggie Smalls. the Biggie Smalls. So even though I made those decisions and it cost me money, that's why I got with Killer and they gave me the money back. I didn't lose no money. It's destiny. <coughs> destiny. That boy good. 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 Yeah. And that's why he makes the big bucks. That's why he makes <laughs> the big bucks. <laughs> big bucks. <laughs> that, that was crazy. Man, those are laughters and giggles of joy, man, because it's worked out for both of those guys in terms of what they're doing now. But how did they get there? That wasn't no laughing matter, right? Obviously, 
there's a part of me that sits back and says, y'all laughing a little too much at what Diddy's going through. Because people will say they escaped something like he just did. They escaped all of that. But how do you know that you escaped all of that versus you could have been somebody that helped them evade all of that? Who's to say that if you stay in there the way that you really wanted to stay in there, because if things were working out the way you wanted them to, are you escaping? No. Okay, so you leave because of all the drama or the stuff around there. Or you leave because the paper ain't right. Or you got to change your heart. All of that is great. But I'm not a fan of the scoreboard that showed you you made the right decision is that you got right back to the paper. Did you make the decision for the paper? If the end game was the paper that shows you the scoreboard, I'm winning again, you left. Not because of all the drama stuff. You left because of the paper. Mm -hmm. So you could have been bought to stay in the drama. Oh, wait a minute. You were bought to stay in the drama as long as you did. And then when they wasn't paying like you expected, then you leave it. Change your heart, change your tune, whatever it may be. Get religified, all those kind of things. Then you get back to the paper and then you say, and this is what happens. This is why it's so important to have perspective. And this is why it's so important to talk to elders because they ain't gonna forget. <laughs> They're like, boy, you didn't leave that because of all that drama. You left that because they wasn't paying you. They couldn't pay you to stay around that drama anymore. There's always an opportunity cost, right? And people, I love when they be like, oh, man, I did that because of that. that. Man, stop. The reason I left Fox wasn't because they were changing just the show. I was like, you changing the show. You changing my life. You changing what I got to do. You changing how I'm going to do it. You changing who I'm going to do it with. Ah, and how much? A little less? Nah, I'm good. Now, if they would have paid me a lot more and changed all that stuff, I don't know if I'll be in this locker room, <laughs> right? That's how the game goes. Let's stop playing, y'all. Stop lying. Now, I am happy for them. I just don't want them to be happy that Puffy is going through it, which I don't think they are, but those giggles were long and strong. Also, let's not act like we just dipped on Diddy because, you know what, Diddy's shining too hard. or <laughs> Like, oh, my God, like this East West Coast, East West beef is just too much. Nah, y'all were banging back. Don't do that. Don't do that. I lived through all that. Like, stop it. Stop. It. So respect salute to them for winning um, and the scoreboard of money, which is their win right now. But they're winning in other ways. But this Diddy thing, it's a lot of laughing going on, man. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't fathom all of the stuff they're saying is true. I just can't. Now, what I can say is, Maybe Diddy touched a lot of these lanes that they're talking about. And you ever been in a position where you don't have plausible deniability? You ever been there? Where you, you, ever, you ever had to prove a negative? You ever had somebody actually got you in a position where they want you to show and prove you didn't do anything? But you know what's crazy about that as a premise? If I didn't do anything, I'm going to show it. <laughs> That's why alibis is so crazy and prevalent, right? What if at two in the morning, what were you doing? Nothing. All right, where were you? Home. Who can vouch for that? The walls. I mean, wh where was your phone? Off. <laughs> Broke. <laughs> like if you can't prove you did nothing, they think you did something. I hate that about life. I'm like, oh, I do jack. Oh, man, I'll give you this last story before I move on to the next one. I remember this one time. No lie. They were telling my team. Uh, they were trying to tell my GM. My GM was my guy. Rest in peace, John Butler. He used to tell me everything that people used to say against me and about me, right? Because he knew me. So he was like, I heard you was partying. I was like, I wasn't partying last night. Turns out, I remember, two something in the morning, one of my boys hit me up. Wiley, let me in. I was like, let you in? Let you in what? And I was like, I'm at home, fool. He's like, no. You at home. Oh, man, they said it's your party out here. All right, boy, hung up. Next day at <laughs> practice, GM pulled me up. Be like, what you doing out last night? I said, I wasn't out last night. This fool told me that, too. It wasn't my party. They, you know, back in the days with the flyers and stuff, my name on some flyer. I'm asleep. They making money off my name. Point being, prove you won at the party. <laughs> like, what? I was like, prove what? I, I ain't prove shit. I ain't even oh. Let me stop. All right, let's get to this next one, man, after y'all beat that up in the comments. What y'all think really happened with, with Diddy? Like, for real. Like, for real. Not for some jokes. 
Not for some of them good memes, hilarious memes. Just really, what's going on? What the hell? Now, maybe, maybe I'm just in denying. Maybe I'm denying it.